Hi, I'm Shelley from Second Shelley's DIY and I'm going to show you today how I turn this tired old chair into a beautiful piece of mid-century modern furniture. I'm going to sand everything back. I've also got to make new box cushions for it. The foam on the cushions are no good anymore. The material is very old and it's awful. They've just had it and I'm just going to throw them away. So they're going in the bin. And then the next stage that I've got to do is, is I've got to undo all the staples along here and there's a row of staples along here to take out this material because I need to put in a new piece of material over here and the seating. And then I start to sand everything back. So here's the row of staples along here. These are the, I'm going, the ones I'm going to take out. My husband has made for me um, this screwdriver or it was a screwdriver if you look here you can probably see it was a screwdriver he's ground it down on the one side so that we get like a cup and this enables me to get the staples out here like this put it underneath and then i can push them out and again so and that's what i do all along the chair i get them out and i take every single staple out that i can get out now taking all the clamps or staples out along here and there, got rid of that horrible dirty piece of material. Now I can check the springs to see if they are all in position, but they all look fine. They still are quite good for their age, so I don't need to replace any of them, so I'm going to leave them. Now I'm going to sand down the rest of the chair. I'm going to sand down first of all with a 60 grit sandpaper. I'm going to use for the large services this round sander. And for the smaller surfaces where I can get into the corners, like over here, down in between here, round the curves, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to start along here because somebody's already been sanding and then sanded down this surfaces when I brought it, these were sanded down. So I'm going to start just of here and start sanding. So now I'm going to do the flat surfaces. I do the flat surfaces with the round sander. I also use um, a grid paper 60. Um, and this is only for the flat surfaces. You can't go around any corners or anything. It's just to get the varnish off all these flat surfaces. I've sanded down all the large areas here, as you can see. And now before I go any further, um, doing any finer sanding, I'm going to put some water onto it from here and this helps me to see if I've got any rests of varnish anywhere that I haven't removed properly. It shows me everything like here, I don't know whether you can see but I've got certain bits where I can see I've got to go over again and I do this all over the chair once I've sanded the lot all the way down. As you can see here, there's bits of varnishes here and here. There's a little bit of hair which I haven't got off. So I can go over there again once it's dry and sand it again. I've finished sanding and now you can see all the way around the chair. Starting to look very good. And to finish I use a cotton cloth. I just wipe the chair all over that all the dust is off and then I can go on to put in a wax or an oil onto the chair. I've now got some hard wax oil and a white cloth and I'm going to apply it to the chair. I'm going to put one layer on, leave it to dry for about eight hours and then I'm going to have a look to see if there's any rough edges still which I can sand down again before I add the finished layer of hard wax oil on. So we just dip in a little bit, we don't need a lot and we rub it nice and evenly on. I'm now going to cover the springs with a piece of felt. I've cut the felt exact to the size of the seating and I staples into place. I like to use a pneumatic gun but you can do this with a 
hand stapler or electric stapler it makes no difference at all so and I staple along here and then I staple along the back here. Now I've got my foam ready to cut. I've got my measurements here. I need a few tools now so that I can prepare everything to make a box cushion. The first thing I need is a ruler to measure and a pen to mark everything out. I need a kitchen knife, but better still is an electric knife. I need some oil to go on the blade and I need some kitchen roll to put it on the blade. Then I need some padding to go round the foam and to cut the padding I need a pair of material scissors and to put the padding on I need some glue. material which I thought just suited it super and it's such a big difference to how this chair was at the start. I think we've done a great job. <laughs>